Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my Skyblock series, Neb vs Skyblock. Um, I know for the last couple of episodes we've just had two crate openings, which a lot of you have actually wanted, which is good. We're glad we finally got around to opening those keys. Um, but as you can tell by the title of this video, it's a bit different. We've hit finally hit one billion dollars, but actually, if you look in my dollar count, we've actually got one point five billion. So we've actually made quite a lot. We've got a lot of money. Um, so we are doing all right. We're doing well. Um, as you can see from this crate, I've also acquired some more keys: fifteen cosmetic, two survivor, four grinder, and eight vote keys. Um, we're also going to be using some of that 1.5 billion to buy a lot more keys so I can give you guys some more crate openings. So if you want to see that, if you want to see more crate openings, comment keys, all right? Just comment keys down below and I'll see that and that'll tell me that you want to see me open them. Um, from the crate opening, you can see that I've sold quite a few of stuff. I've kept these um, and then I've kept the chair note and I've kept all those spawners. Um, if you want to come and see me on my island, just do is visit nebman1 like that and then enter that in chat and you can come and see my island good all right so in this video we i'll just kind of recap and show you what has changed um the blast furnaces has been at, been at work constantly non-stop and as you can see we have completed the smelt 25,000 ores, which is a big one to complete. We got a mill from that, 150k XP in Survivor Crakey, which is awesome. We also managed to get um, 100 visitors, which is where we got the other keys from. So we are doing well. Now let's also look, oh, typical, as soon as I record, it starts snowing. Always the way. Now up here, we've built a brand new sugarcane farm. It stretches, you can't really see it at the moment but it goes the full length all the way over to the corner. And down here, you can see that we have expanded the cactus farm quite a bit. So it's a bit taller. We're probably gonna keep building it up at some point, but not in today's video. Um, and I've added some extra chests as well, just so that we can collect it. I did just empty them out to upgrade my minions. So they are just slowly building up. And if we go back up, we take the long journey back up. Yeah, we'll get there eventually, I promise. You will see that I've upgraded my cactus minions. Um, we have upgraded all of the front row are tier seven, all of the back row are now tier eight. These are a lot of effort to upgrade. This is taking me ages. So I think for, I think it was six or, or however many is here, it took me all of those five double chests and I had to spend about a million on cactus in the auction house. So it was a lot, a lot, a lot. Now, let's have a look. So as you guys know, we can get infused armor from killing different mobs. So you can get, I think, six types, the Creeper, Blaze, Skeleton, Wither Skeleton, Iron Golem, and Zombie Head. So I've started collecting some infused skulls. Um, I've only got one of the Iron Golem, 30 infused Skeleton Heads, which is cool, 24. 15 but this is the one that we're going to be doing so i grinded out a lot and i've bought a lot of infused with the skulls so probably in the next episode the one after we'll be creating some cool really strong wither armor um, and we'll be doing that but for today's video we're going to talk expansions because as, as you can see my sugarcane farm is gone this nether farm, nether wart farm, is going to go at some point soon. We're going to move the cobblestone generator. We're going to create kind of a nice space, obviously protecting this. Um, and we're also going to make somewhere for the skycoin generator to go. Um, Jeffrey over here, this cool guy, he is now maxed out. So he's level 10 mining and he's level 10 efficiency. So he's maxed out, he's collecting me stuff, I've just emptied it, so he doesn't have much on him. Um, but we're going to be doing that. So I think, to start off with, if we're looking up at the island, I think this cool sort of gray looking area could actually do with expanding, probably this side and maybe this side, and then we'll kind of create pathways that kind of align with the stairs and bring it down and across and then we'll build kind of 
but it will kind of set the set the tone for where we're going to place things. So I have got some plans for what we're going to do. We're going to, not in this episode, but in a, a couple of episodes time, we're going to be expanding the island. So we're going to get an extra 50 blocks each way so that we're 100 by 100, um, which would be pretty cool. We're going to make an insane like trophy room, which is going to be full of really rare mob skulls. Um, you can actually trade in some of your heads. Uh, let's show you. So the heads, you can actually trade them in and get all sorts of kind of rare skulls and stuff like that. Like, for example, these monsters, you can get a lot of rare ones that you have to purchase with your head skulls, which is cool. So we'll make kind of a trophy cabinet out of some of those. Um, and let's see how many heads I actually have. I think I've got maybe 300 or so. Oh, I can't do that. It's head tokens, I believe. I've got 738 tokens, so we'll be able to do a lot. So we'll do some sort of like, we'll extend this out so it's not all cramped. Um, we're going to do some sort of like trophy cabinet. We're going to build a massive like spawn, uh, spawn a room so that people like you guys can come and join and farm some mobs if you like. Um, and we're going to be making a sick, really sick spawn area. And we're going to kind of make a bit of a document documentation about my youtube series so we'll we'll sort that out but for now i think just for this episode we'll keep it simple we'll get rid of a lot of this expand the gray concrete out and we'll see where we're at once that's done all right so as you can see we dug one side out um we are going to have to now fill this in with the gray concrete it's still snowing hopefully it goes away by the time you're back with me that is one side of it done, uh, just filled in kind of cool. Um, and then we'll do the same here. I know it looks very bare at the moment, but it will it will change and it will look better because we're actually going to be putting pathways and buildings on each side so it will look, look cooler. I'm thinking maybe this wood strip here should be glowstone as well, just to kind of switch it up a bit, add a bit of ambience to the area. So I might do that now. Yeah, I think that glow strain strip works. So now we've just got to copy that and do it this side. So let's do that. And fingers crossed, it will stop snowing. Right. So as you can see, this is all kind of cleared out like that. Um, so that looks kind of cool now. It looks a bit better than it did. We've completely got rid of the Neverwalk farm. We don't need that there anymore. We can put it somewhere else. We've kept hold of the soul sand because it was really expensive to buy. But our next step is going to be getting rid of our holy cobblestone generator. Um, this was like one of the first things we built in the series, but unfortunately, like everything else and other things, it's time for a change. So we'll pick up our hopper and our auto cell chest. And let's get rid of the water first. Get rid of the lava. And we're going to have to start smashing it apart. Which is a bit sad, really, because it's kind of symbolic to our series. But, you know, we will rebuild a bigger and better one somewhere that's more suitable. But for now, because this is going to be kind of our spawn area for the island, it's going to be more important for us to... Oh, no, I've fallen down the hole more important for us to make this kind of area a bit nicer to look at. So we'll smash all this to pieces, get rid of it all. Da -da 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 -da. Pick that up, get rid of the black concrete. And once this black concrete's gone, we'll fill it in with a gray like so. Da -da 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 and that's like that. Pick up the cobble because it's making it look ugly. Now we've got our penguin. So what we're going to do is get rid of this white area. I know this is kind of technically part of the penguin, but we we don't want that there anymore. We want change. And change is good, guys. If you're going through change, then that is fine. It is okay to change. Okay, that's our penguin. We need to, let me think, let me think, let me think. I think we can probably get away with popping that there 
Get rid of this. Get rid of the glowstone. And, oh, we're going to need some more glowstone. Luckily, we have a lot. And then we'll simply continue like we did have. Jeff is going to have to move out as well. Sorry, mate. But, you know, it's at different times. And then we still have our penguin, which is fine. And we've got a Skycoin generator. And we've got Jeff in there. That looks kind of cool. It looks a bit better. Um, so our plans will be simply to... We need to make a kind of trophy cabinet for our rare mob stuff. I kind of want to add armor stands in there with all the different type of infused armor, which would be cool. Um, we'll make kind of a spawn spawner area where we can farm mobs and we invite some of you guys over to farms of mobs if you want. Um, we'll kind of make a cool stand for that Skycoin generator and just generally kind of build a few things, expand it, make it look a bit cool. Um, so we will do that. But I'm going to leave it there for this video because I don't want it to get too long. And I learnt my lesson when I uploaded my first video, which was 40 minutes, and that was a nightmare. Um, but for this video, we'll leave it there. If you did like it, um, please feel free to subscribe. Subscribe, it is free. Um, it helps me out to know that you guys want to see the videos. Um, and if you did enjoy it, leave a like. And don't forget, if you want to see me open some more crates, then comment keys down below. But uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.